Hi everyone, it's Gary Nixon here. This is your planning outlook video updated on Friday the 12th of October. In the short term, some very wet conditions across Wales, the lakes and the south of Scotland into the weekend. An extra video online for you today detailing that one. Looking further ahead though, it's a changeable outlook still as west southwest of the winds dominate. It's not looking quite as wet as we're seeing just at the moment, but still a risk of rain at times, uh, western Scotland in particular, and periods of gales. And temperatures will vary from day to day. And if we just look at temperatures, this is the 850 millibar level. That's at around four and a half thousand feet thereabouts in the atmosphere and shows uh, the real temperature contrast that we've got. This is uh, through into Saturday and that's what's fueling the active front. Basically, some very warm air to the east and the southeast of Britain, much cooler air toward the northwest, hence the heavy rainfall in between. If we skip that on then you'll see how the cooler air does push in from the west as we go through into uh, Sunday and temperatures uh, dipping close to freezing on the higher Scottish tops and that, that will be a theme through into Monday as well with a cool feel, a frost in some of the valleys and the glens first thing on Monday morning. Temperatures then lift as we go through into midweek a little bit, but uh, they'll be up and down. And I think in the second half of the week, it will be cooler again as uh, westerly winds dominate, bringing in air off the North Atlantic. But you can see there's ups and downs temperatures uh, on the whole, rarely dipping below freezing point on those higher tops. Let's look through the charts then, and this is Saturday. There's the frontal wave producing all that rain. It's uh, making only very slow progress uh, eventually eastwards later on Saturday, but most of the day it's raining for Wales, for the lakes, for the North Pennines, uh, the Western Yorkshire Dales seeing the worst of it, maybe the Peak District getting away with a few hours, that bit drier, but rain piles northwards into Scotland too, with maybe just the far north and northwest escaping with very little. Gales will be ahead of the front, but uh, behind it across Scotland, with slack pressure, winds are much lighter. Now there's complications exactly where that front goes by Sunday. Uh, something of a wraparound may still even affect Scotland for a time into Sunday. And with such a complicated situation, uh, confidence of detail is always going to be low, even a couple of days ahead. So always bear that in mind when you're looking at the forecast that things will change from day to day going forwards. Uh, it's just one of those times that's uh, hard to get detail into things really. For many places, though, across the mountains on the Sunday, the front has gone away. And I think just the Peak District, the main question mark, whether it rains for a good few hours. Otherwise, it should just be showers uh, around the western coasts with some uh, sunny periods coming through and excellent visibility with much clearer air behind that front. Notice the low that's uh, well to the southwest of Ireland, though. That is what's left of Hurricane Michael that affected Florida. It looks as though that's going to avoid the British Isles, but it's not far away and it just adds a greater complication again to our story. The likely scenario is, though, that that moves away towards uh, Spain and Portugal. We've got something of low pressure around Biscay and France, the remnants of our weekend front still there. But high pressure is built in across the British Isles. That seems likely on most computer models at this stage. So Monday looks a decent day with uh, mostly light winds, uh, some good amounts of sunshine, excellent visibility again with a clear air mass in place. Just a few showers could affect Western Scotland, a rare shower perhaps elsewhere, many places though looking dry. But again, just still watch the absolute details. This is the most likely story. Uh, there might just be a few local changes to be aware of. By Tuesday, it looks a little bit more straightforward in some ways in that it's back to a sort of southwesterly pattern. These fronts aren't quite as active as the ones over the weekend, but do bring the risk of some further rain back into the West Highlands in particular. Low cloud uh, plaguing many of the western hills from Wales to northwest England to western Scotland and the risk of wind strengthening to gale force more across the Scottish Highlands than England and Wales. So if we just step back and look at the big picture, and I'll bring you back to the weekend first of all, and just to show a couple of features here, we've got uh, what's still Hurricane Leslie. It'll uh, weaken as that moves towards Spain and Portugal this weekend. There's the tropical air mass that's feeding that strong south-southwesterly and all the rain at the moment. Michael comes across the Atlantic. It's this feature here, uh, zipping across the Atlantic as... Uh, uh, a post-tropical storm by this stage essentially. It's still got that strength but it's uh, very much a mid-latitude depression by this stage. An ordinary transition that these hurricanes uh, go through as they move into the North Atlantic. That then, uh, with some uncertainty, drifts towards Biscay and is likely to fade as pressure builds ahead of it and uh, just weakens that system away. 
and then we get uh, that southwesterly that returns into the middle of the week. So if we just take things further on then, uh, further towards next weekend, it's that general west-southwesterly pattern. Most of the rain focused on western Scotland, occasional rain, western hills elsewhere, driest and highest cloud break breaks to more eastern regions throughout this period. And as we mentioned at the start, temperatures likely to be up and down. I think that'll be the order of things heading towards the weekend. Pressure building at times across England and Wales to settle things down occasionally. So the odd uh, cool but bright day with some uh, frost and fog in the mornings. Uh, windy at times, uh, particularly across northern Britain. Now if we just look briefly towards the final third of the month, all that really seems to be happening or the main story is that we're just moving the relative centre of gravity basically of high pressure, which will have been more focused over Eastern Europe and the indications favour that uh, becoming uh, stronger over the Atlantic to the west of us, which uh, as we just go on uh, into the uh, final week or so of the month, eventually just means that we might find a west or northwesterly regime does try and take hold. It keeps things on the cooler side then, changeable probably, but uh, just uh, lower rainfall totals than what we're seeing with the tropical air masses just at the moment. What I think will happen is that uh, from now we're seeing temperatures mostly above freezing and rarely dropping below. By the final week to 10 days or so of the month on the higher Scottish Munros, you might find that temperatures are rarely above freezing and often on the colder side, just with that general change of air mass. Of course, we can't get any absolute detail into things uh, that far ahead, but those are the general trends that uh, cooler times are looking at believable towards the later part of the month. We'll update this planning video for you again early next week. Thanks for watching today. Bye for now.